One of Nikki Haley's donors has been exposed, and you'll never believe who it is. Trump's life is being upended by the trial in New York, and it threatens his run for president of the United States. Nancy Pelosi starts new Russia, Russia, Russia rumors about Donald Trump, and Hillary Clinton spreads all kinds of lies about Donald Trump over to our European allies. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. It really helps me out, so thank you so much. I also want to thank today's video sponsor, Body Boost, and I'll tell you how I use them to personally lose 15 pounds. Former President Donald Trump is currently between a rock and a hard place. Last week, New York Judge Arthur Engegron issued a judgment claiming Donald Trump must pay $355 million in penalties for committing fraud. While Trump would typically appeal the ruling under these circumstances, New York law states that he must pay the entire penalty plus interest before he can appeal. What this means that this is that Trump will have to come out of pocket almost half a billion dollars. Now, Jonathan Turley has stated that he believes Trump will put up the money and that he will appeal and he will win because in a crime, if there is no victim and there are no losses, then there is no settlement lawsuit. And that's exactly what happened. Now, to be honest, it's hard for me to think of a scenario where Donald Trump can afford to do this without selling some of his beloved properties. Instead of being able to spend the millions he's receiving in campaigning, he'll be forced to spend it on staying afloat. Now, I find it appalling uh, that he has to come up with the full amount before he can appeal. I, I mean, this like you really have to be ultra wealthy in order to survive the prison system and the justice system these days. Uh, but this will allow Trump to remain in the race. Uh, but it is clear that they are trying to financially assassinate him and get him to drop out of the race. Now, luckily for Trump, uh, he has one of the strongest fan bases in the entire world. Real estate investor Grant Cardone's wife, Elena Cardone, tried to capitalize on this fact by starting a GoFundMe for Donald Trump to raise $355 million. The GoFundMe campaign has only been going for four days and has already raised close to a million dollars. Now, in the description of the campaign, Elena Cardone stated... I stand unwaveringly with President Donald Trump in the face of what I see as unprecedented and unfair treatment by certain judicial elements in New York. Now, just as the Truckers for Trump movement was starting to take off, the man who initially started it has backed out. His name was Chicago Ray. He had this to say, just to be clear, I'm no figurehead at the moment. I'm not leading, nor have I encouraged, or am I encouraging anyone to do anything other than what they were doing in this ruling for New York. So essentially, he chickened out and he's backed out, and it looks like this thing's falling apart, unless another trucker jumps in and gets this thing going again. Now, even with these recent comments from Chicago Ray, there still may be an exodus of truckers driving uh, towards New York, um, to, to block it or try to boycott it. However, one trucker on TikTok explained that uh, many truckers are avoiding New York because it's so expensive to run trucks there. And now they're making you pay the tolls in order to enter the city. Despite this being a clear case of politically motivated attacks, many Democrats would write Republicans off as conspiracy theories for pointing this out. With that being said, Democrat Representative Nancy Pelosi has now claimed that Russian President Vladimir Putin probably has something financial on Donald Trump that forces him to brag about Putin and to bash on NATO. Basically, she says that Putin is financially blackmailing Donald Trump, and for this reason, he can't be let near the White House. Now, this has to be one of the most far-fetched accusations I've ever heard, as there's absolutely no evidence. In fact, the United States government spent $45 million proving there was no connection between Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump. But since they have nothing else to talk about and no other playbook, 
I guess Russia, Russia, Russia is the main story that they're going with as we head into the election. Now, just because Trump stated NATO members must pay their fair share for protection, this does not mean that he is a puppet for Vladimir Putin. Trump is Trump, and he can cause massive controversy on his own. He doesn't need Putin at his side. Now, while some may argue Trump wasn't being serious about not protecting NATO countries who don't pay, Hillary Clinton has issued a warning to the American people and Europe that Donald Trump must never enter the White House. While speaking at the Munich Security Council in Germany, Hillary Clinton argued that Donald Trump meant exactly what he said. She said, he, Trump, will do everything he can to become an absolute authoritarian leader if given the opportunity to do so. And he will pull us out of NATO. Now, I'll admit, Trump isn't the biggest fan of NATO, but I don't think he wants to pull out. I think he just wants people to pay their fair share because as he dug in and looked at the numbers, it was obvious that the United States taxpayers were fronting most of the financial obligation under NATO, and he just wants people to be responsible. All right, now I have a story so messed up it will make your blood boil. But first, a word from today's video sponsor. I want to thank today's video sponsor, Body Boost by Brian. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to have more energy? Do you want a healthier life? Then you need to connect with Coach Brian at Body Boost for guidance and uh, meet you, meeting your health goals. Since joining Brian's program, I'm personally down 15 pounds. I can feel it. I'm sleeping better. I'm snoring less. I'm less swollen. I'm not overeating. And I'm right on track with the goals that I set for myself. Under Brian, uh, Brian's app and coaching, I feel like I can reach my weight loss and health goals. I tried uh, for close to a year to do it on my own, but I felt hopeless and continued to gain weight. Maybe you've tried to lose weight and failed. Me too, right? But then I hired a coach and built new health habits, and I've been very, very happy. Now, I want you to visit Brian's website, bodyboostbybrian.com, to start feeling better today. Again, that's bodyboostbybrian.com to learn about his six-week program to lose 20 pounds. Now, make sure to mention that you watch Stephen Gardner on YouTube to get a deal he's not offering to anyone else. Again, I feel much better with this weight off of my body, and I believe you will too. Republican Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina continues to call on presidential candidate Nikki Haley to step down and to fall in line behind Donald Trump. It's time to start working on a national campaign instead of going state to state trying to beat him. During an interview with Fox News, Tim Scott stated, it's desperation that you feel coming from her camp. And when you feel that type of desperation, that means the race is already over. She has to realize that the race is over. It's best for the country, not just the party. Now, whether you call it determination or stupidity or corruption or stubbornness, Nikki Haley has ignored calls to step down. Initially, there was some speculation that she would drop out if she lost in her home state of South Carolina. But now she says that won't happen either. During an interview with the Associated Press, Nikki Haley stated, 10 days after South Carolina, another 20 state vote. I mean, this isn't Russia. We don't want someone to go in and get 99% of the vote. What is the rush? Why is everybody so panicked about me having to get out of the race? By the way, just today it leaked uh, who one of Nikki Haley's contributors is. It's former CIA director Michael Morrill. Why is this a big deal? This is the man whom Anthony Blinken called on in order to cover up the Hunter Biden laptop. He got 50 other former intelligence officers to lie that the Hunter Biden laptop, full of absolutely disgusting stuff, uh, Biden crime family stuff, uh, horrible gross photos of him doing drugs and doing things with women. Anyway, these 51 intelligence uh, officers lied, knowingly lied, that this was a Russian prop or Russian uh, product. 
But Mike Morell of the CIA knew for a fact that this was a lie, but he hated Trump so much. Well, guess what? He's now putting money behind Nikki Haley. So I guess you can see and I can see exactly who the deep state wants to run the United States of America. And it's not Donald Trump. It's Nikki Haley. Let me know down below. What do you think about this? I, I was uh, pretty shocked, to be honest. All right. Now, this will make your blood boil. Over in New York, Mayor Eric Adams is pissing off New York residents as he pushes millions and millions of dollars of their dollars towards illegal immigrants. As it currently stands, a new debit card program was passed, which will give $10,000 of taxpayer money to migrants. There's no need to prove who you are. You don't have to show ID. You just have to show up, fill out some paperwork, and boom, $10,000 from the hardworking people of New York right in your pocket. Seriously, if I lived in New York, I would, I would go get in this line and get $10,000 for free. This is just another example of a Democrat-led city giving the middle finger to taxpayer citizens in hopes of impressing illegal immigrants to vote for you in future elections. It's absolutely disgusting. But let me know your thoughts down below. Would your life be better if the government just gave you $10,000? Well, maybe time to go to New York. All right, over in Russia, General Sergei Ravskoy is accusing NATO of sending military personnel to Ukraine to operate anti-air missile defense systems that Ukrainian soldiers have no clue how to run. This is not the first time this claim has been made. Russia says that they have seen people from Poland, the United States, and even French mercenaries. Uh, they've even got video of people with British accents telling Ukrainians how to operate this equipment. This is where things get tricky because some of these people say, I am uh, retiring from US military, UK military, Poland military, uh, and they go fight as a freelance contractor. But in reality, these governments like the US military and Pentagon are feeding these former soldiers information on how to fight Russia and the Russian Federation Army and Vladimir Putin. But this is exactly how a world war gets started. And I really hope that that is not what we're about to walk into. All right, now don't forget to follow that link down below to Body Boost. If you want a real plan for losing weight, uh, you need a coach, someone to take you from where you are to where you wanna be, someone that will help you establish good eating habits, weighing yourself, encouragement, ideas, eating plans, grocery plans, all of that on top of the mentoring, I will leave that link down below. Now, before you go, I want to remind you that you are amazing. I really, really believe that. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Please give this video a like so that YouTube will send it out to other people and then send this out by sharing it on Twitter or Facebook. It would really help me out. Hey, I'm going to leave a really awesome interview from earlier today right here. I appreciate you so much, and I will see you on the next video.